Unreal Engine comes with tons of free scans available for you, but unfortunately, not every one of them will fit your project's needs. In this video, I will show you how to clean up this raw scan and delete the parts that you don't want, have a cleaner topology, and even have other variations from it inside Unreal Engine. So let's get started. If you want to improve your game development skills, make sure to check out our on-demand courses for free. You can watch them and get high quality, free education. And if you are a serious game developer, make sure to check our UNF game development program where you will create a game from scratch and publish it on Steam. When you go to FAB, you will see that you have a lot of assets that you get for free. Some of them you can use right away and some of them will come with areas such as this one that you don't really want the ground because maybe you're putting it in your terrain and you already have something. So what you really want to do is to use the modeling tools inside Unreal to clean this up. So I already add this to my project. So just click add to project and you will have a folder here where you can have the scan, you have the materials, you have the textures, you got everything here. So if you don't want to delete the original one, let me hold Alt and click. And what you can do is to go to modeling and then go to transform tools and then go to duplicate. I can call this my scan clean, then click accept and it will duplicate a mesh. Now, where is it going to be? It's going to be very easy. You search for it in the content browser. It's going to be in the folder where you have your map. So this is the new mesh. They look exactly the same because they are, except they are different assets. So the first thing we want to do is to delete some areas here that we don't really want. And the best way to get rid of the ground assets that usually come with this type of scans that they usually scan the ground because there's no way for them to clean this up. Otherwise, they will need to do this themselves. You can just go to model and go to plane cut. And by default, the plane is going to cut through the Z axis. And that's what we want, except that we want the other direction. So what we're going to do is to flip the plane and we're going to move it down until we find something where we remove all the ground elements. Let's go to the areas where still we have ground. Let's move it up. All right. So right now there's nothing connected here. You only have a few islands here, but I don't want to keep going up because I will make my mesh smaller. So let's just accept and this will make sure we don't have the ground. So the next thing we need to do is to go to mesh. And then we're going to go to triangle select. And for triangle select, you can just use the brush tools. And by the way, I'm in the modeling tools here. You just press shift five and you will be able to see them. You can just choose which polygons you want to choose. And this process is very manual. So what you can do is go to select here, selection mode by material, all connected and click here. Now you will see that is kind of doing it, except that it's not selecting everything. It's selecting different islands. And the reason for this is this topology is not really the best. It's not really clean up and the edges are not welded. So let's cancel. And what we need to do is to go here to weld. And what you will see is some teal line that tells you where it's going to weld the edges. So just click accept and now everything will be welded. So now I can just go to triangle select, go to material connect, and you will see that I have my mesh only selected here without selecting the, the small pieces that are floating. So what I can do is go to invert and just hit the delete key, click accept. And now I have my mesh here. Now, a couple of things that you may want to change because you, you can call it like that. You can call it a day with this, but I really want to change the pivot point. So what you can do is to go to transform tools, edit pivot, and you can move it up. 
you can try try to eyeball it but i recommend just to go to bottom or you can just put any preset that works better for you maybe you want to use this asset uh like in a first person shooter or something and you need to duplicate like this or maybe you just want the center or maybe you just want to put it at the bottom and at the center at the same time it's up to you where you want to use it just click accept and now you fix this part now uh, what you can also do is to fix this hole and this is not necessarily an issue but it doesn't hurt to use with nanite nanite works best with meshes that are closed and don't have holes open so what you can do is to go to mesh and go to fill holes and you will see here if i click on this border it will exactly fill the hole now you don't really care about the quality of this texture because it's never gonna sing it's never gonna be seen but by default it's gonna be minimal i recommend you to try the polygon ear clipping so you can see it like in this area let's go back to the default values uh, it's trying to put a plane here and we don't really want that so polygon ear clipping seems to work very well so click ok and now you have your new mesh now what you can do is actually create different variations of this mesh you can alt and click let's go to transform duplicate and let's call this uh bend it there you go click accept and now what you can do is to actually delete this part delete for now so let's go for all all in group this is the same group, the same poly group. Delete, click accept. And now, because this already have a lot of polygons, we can just go to deform, not displace. Let's go to wrap. And with wrap, you can just bend this. You can change the axis. For example, I can rotate in the X axis and I can have something like this, or I can decide, you know what? I'm gonna leave in zero the lower bounds. So this one is exactly straight and then this one is 90 degrees click accept and what you can do is also change the pivot point if that's what you want for me i feel like it's fine so i can just go ahead and put this into position uh, maybe i want to create some modular pieces uh, it's up to you what you want to do with this uh, but this is the way you can clean up assets uh, we went from uh, very and clean asset got from fab uh, remember they are not responsible for the quality of your game you are you're the one who need to make sure that what you are getting it's actually good quality and this is why the modeling tools are really good because you can actually do all these operations inside unreal and you, you don't really need to you don't really need to go to another 3d 3d app to change it you can just do it right here see it on real time and fix all the mistakes that come with the scanned assets so if you like this video let me know in the comments if you want to learn more about us check the links in the description and i will see you in the next one